Hello everyone, amazing people and fabulous people. I am JC Crisologo and the name of my show is Spotlight. And today's Spotlight is on the recent movie Evil Dead Rise. Now I have to tell you one thing. I really had no intentions of watching this movie because I felt that it was super gory, grotesque, and gruesome. <laughs> um, and naturally, my I have another friend, well, two friends actually, one who lives here in the U.S. and the other one lives in the Philippines. My friend from the Philippines, shout out to Eric Zaldariaga, or Eric Z, told me that, oh, it was so devastating. And my friend here in the U.S., Ara, my fairy here, my fairy god horror mother here in Las Vegas. And Ara said that, oh, you might not like it because, you know, like I said earlier, it's really gory and gruesome and you might not like that. And actually, um, a week ago, I was already close to the movie theater. But then I thought it was so gory that I decided to leave. And so upon watching other movie interviews about this movie and some spoiler alerts and actually knowing what the story was, I decided to brace myself, brace myself and actually go to the movie theater sit down and watch this movie no matter what. So I sat down and the only thing that I could tell you is OMG. I thought that I would be watching a, a B-rated nonsensical horror movie that didn't, you know, didn't make any sense at all. But I saw it, it is one of these years, if not this entire decade, best horror film ever. Um, this movie was directed and written uh, by uh, Lee Cronin. And for those of you who don't know who Lee Cronin is, he, he directed A Hole on the Ground, another uh, horror movie which was the horror movie that was discovered by uh, Sam Raimi, who was the original director, producer, writer of the original Evil Dead series. And upon watching uh, Lee Cronin's uh, Hole on the Ground, he said, I want you to make an Evil Dead movie or series. Well, it started out that um, the Evil Dead the Evil Dead movie that I'm, I'm reviewing right now was supposed to be for HBO Max, but then they decided that it would be better shown in the movie theater. And let me tell you, that was the best de decision ever. So before going on with my high praises for this movie, this movie stars... Elisa Sutherland, Morgan Davis, Lily Sullivan, who plays the starring role, and Gabrielle Eccles, Bruce Campbell, who was in the original Evil Dead series. And um, you're actually, not, not to disappoint you guys, but you're actually not going to see uh, Bruce Campbell in the movie, but you will feel him and hear him. So anyhow, and it also um, stars Nell Fisher. Nell Fisher was the child actress, and I think that she played a beautiful role in this movie. She is such an amazing, amazing actress. And usually, you know, a lot of people say when you get child actors, they don't do their jobs pretty well, and it looks you know, unconvincing, but she played the dramatic role 
super well that that I almost cried and um, and also it stars Billy Reynolds McCarthy Anna Mary Thomas Jaden Daniels Ty Wano Nadine Jahik Marie by Peace and Mark Mitchinson who plays the neighbor in that <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, that claustrophobic apartment building that they're um, living in. Um, so anyhow, this movie was, you know, true to an Evil Dead uh, movie. Grotesque, gruesome, gory, uh, horrific, creepy, creep, like super creepy to the max. But one thing I can say about Lee Cronin is that he is, you know, as the French would say, provocateur, meaning that he loves to uh, provoke his audience, and he did this by writing, the, it, it was a cleverly written story that grabs you by the heart. It's really heart-wrenching, because can you imagine the one being or the one human in your life that's supposed to protect you and love you and nurture you is the one that's running after you and that is the mother in the story went against her, her children a little bit of spoilers alert when she got demon possessed and naturally when you're demon possessed you're just a puppet on on a string and she couldn't uh, help it and there was a, a scene that explains to you where her soul ended up in it it was so sad and, and horrific so the mother turns into a demon and the demon runs after the children and the actress that played the daughter there is one scene in the movie and I'm sure that you see all the horrific pictures by me <laughs> The horrific lady by me is um, Elisa Sutherland. <laughs> so uh, you could tell that Elisa Sutherland really enjoyed her role in being this sadistic demon towards these children. And so there's one scene which is in the trailer. And the child was peeping through the keyhole and looking at the monster that used to be her mother and said you don't look so good mom and then the monster said nothing that a kiss from you won't fix oh my gosh <laughs> and you you know as an audience you already know what's gonna happen after because she wasn't talking to her mom she was talking to um, a demon and one thing that I also loved about this film is they paid homage to the shining you know that Stephen King movie which was a Stephen King book which was turned into a movie played marvelously by the Jack Nicholson and so the story is uh, similar because in in the shining Jack Nicholson's character was a loving father until he got possessed by the demon and naturally that father slash demon went against his children in in this movie too although in this movie it's not a father it's the mother that got possessed and turned against her um, entire children and naturally uh, Lisa Sullivan I mean it's not an evil dead movie without the big chainsaw on top of the head because that chainsaw has been iconic in all the evil dead movies you know and and they would end up you know decapitating the the evil monster slash demons that one except that in the original evil dead series that um the chainsaw was color red and in in this movie it's it's yellow it's color yellow and one thing more that they did to pay homage to the shining is 20,000 gallons of blood that they used and as the two characters 
We're inside the elevator and the elevator door opens and all the 20,000 gallons of blood spilled towards the hallway. I mean, you guys who have seen The Shining know that this happened as well in The Shining. I mean, it was such, a, such an amazing homage and reference to uh, The Shining. And so do I recommend it? Not really. <laughs> Not really to those who uh, dislike horror movies, who dislike uh, gory movies, because there is a, a share of, of gore. But I had to desensitize myself before watching these movies and, and saw the spoiler alerts, spoke to my friends, and so I was prepared and ready for, for the gore that I was about to behold in this movie. As far as the story goes, like I said, it's a cleverly written movie. And I'm glad that they picked amazing, amazing. You know, it, it's really about um, good actors, most especially when you're going to get uh, teenagers and, and children. And now the, the actress who, who played the, the child in this movie, she, she is an amazing actress and oh boy what she went through in this movie of losing her mom to a demon and seeing her mom turn into a demon and it, it was so heartbreaking it truly was so heartbreaking and and devastating that that you you'll really shed a tear for this child who lost everything and luckily her auntie was there but, you know, I, I've, already I've already said too much, said too but, much, but um, <laughs> trust me, I haven't spoiled anything for you. Oh, and one thing more, because after seeing the, the gore of, of this film, I also found it creepy. There was a creepy scene, so, something, about, something about people floating and flying aimlessly, and you know that they're demonized, that creeps the hell out of me. <laughs> And most especially when they're wearing a big blanket <laughs> and they're flying towards you. That's not a good thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and one thing else that I'm not uh, going to view the same way is the cheese grater. I'll never view a cheese grater the same way again. And some people who will see this movie will not want to. <laughs> use the cheese grater anymore <laughs> so anyhow that was my um, review of this film and on the second half of the film I'd like to uh, focus and spotlight on the actress that played the the monster demon in this movie is Alisa Sutherland. So stay tuned for Elisa Sutherland. This show is brought to you by Modern Word Ministries. I can already feel you judging me, and not for what I've done in the past, but for what I'm about to do. I had what mattered, and I, uh, Careless. Like, I don't deserve more. I don't deserve sympathy. I don't deserve to be here. Where the hell are you? Why aren't you answering your phone? Jenna! What is the matter with you? Someone once told me, you may not be everybody's cup of tea, but you're somebody's shot of whiskey. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my car ran out of gas and I left my wallet at home. Uh, could you please spare a couple of dollars so I can refuel my vehicle? I literally have nothing. What's it going to take to get you to join a program? Get that phone! If Jesus wanted you to have a dog, you were blessed you would fall and reach now, wouldn't you? Hello and welcome. 
and welcome back to the second portion of Spotlight. And now I'm going to focus on the actress that played the titular role of Ellie, the, the mom who gets a demon possessed. And um, Alisa Sutherland is such an amazing actress. She is so fabulous. And little did I know that Elisa used to be a supermodel, you know, on, on the runway. Elisa is originally from Australia and then she discovered, she was discovered as a fashion model. So she modeled for big fashion houses in uh, New York, Paris, Milan and, and London and also in her hometown. Australia so she is like a st tall statuesque glamazon beauty that graces the catwalk but according to Elisa that she has a, um, probably not entirely that she has uh, abandoned her role as a fashion model slash catwalk goddess to become a full-fledged uh, movie actress and as we spoke in the the beginning you know she plays Ellie the uh, the demon possessed mom and and therefore um, the actress was saying that it was really fun uh, working in this movie and and that um, you know as but at the same time, it was grueling to make this movie because of the six hours of makeup. I mean, putting those, the prosthetics and the bruises on her face. And also, um, Lisa Sullivan had to endure, um, you know, the 20,000 gallons of blood that, that she was in. And she was afraid to... Uh, have a you know an, an ear in infection a lot of blood used in this uh, evil dead movie so yeah I mean it, it truly uh, I really should stop to use the word amazing because I think I've you I've overused it a gazillion times but I highly uh, recommend for you to watch this movie but before that you need to kind of brace yourself if you're not really used to a gory, gruesome, and a horror movie, um, you've been warned. You've been warned that this is probably uh, a movie that you won't be able to, to take in. And it's definitely not for the faint-hearted. So, <laughs> and also, try not to spill your popcorn on the floor. <laughs> Because that's what's going to happen when you watch this movie. You'll be shaking that popcorn. <laughs> Throwing it everywhere. And that's what's going to happen. So going back to Elisa Sutherland, I believe that she has a bright future in Hollywood. And her rising star will just grow bigger, better, and brighter. And I'm hoping, and I know that I will see her in other uh, spectacular movies and TV shows and she's I mean no wonder she was able to play the role of a demon possessed mother because she had a you know practice um, on the catwalk on the runway because as you know when you're doing runway and and you're doing uh, you're required by the photographers to pose in front of the camera you're actually acting you're not just posing but you're acting and you're getting into character and so that prepared her for all her roles I believe that she was also in a show you know called the uh, the Viking and oh wow with those uh, going back to this horror movie that I just reviewed Evil Dead Rice she really looked frighteningly creepy in those demonic contact lenses so there you have it my fabulous boys and girls I hope that you like my movie review of Evil 
dead rice. dead rice. And for my last word, although now I'm kind of not on a diet anymore, but as, as I <laughs> always say, <laughs> don't forget to eat your celery because it's the vegetable that eats you.